X. If you are a martial artist already, or maybe you took some combat sports training, some of what I'm about to tell you is probably obvious to you, but I want to review it anyway. A lot of the power from your striking is generated from your body mechanics. Uh, an example, if I were to throw a rear punch or a cross, if I just use my arm to throw the punch, I'm only going to really gain the power of my muscles in my arm. So what I want to do is generate the power from the ground, through my leg and hip, into the punch. So if I were to punch, I want to pivot and turn. And this will go with the palm, which we'll also cover in this uh, video, and the elbow. Everything is coming from the rotation of the hips. It's not just the arm movement or the shoulder movement that's actually hitting. Uh, another important thing to remember is not to push. What you want to do is think speed, okay? The faster you can hit something, the more power you're going to generate for the most part. So it's a little bit of speed and strength behind that strike to make it actually very powerful. So we want to make sure we snap. If we're going to throw a punch, we're going to snap it out. We're not going to push. Hence, with that in mind, what we want to do is only aim about two to six inches past the target. So if I was going to strike uh, somebody in the face, per, for instance, I don't want to be here because now this is going to turn into a push. What I want to do is be, get my range uh, appropriate so that when I hit, there's only going to be two to six inches of extension past that target, and that's going to provide for the most uh, damaging effect for that strike. So if Danielle was going to do an elbow, just for demonstration, nice and slow, what you're going to see is she's going to twist her elbow twist her hip rather into the elbow so she twists her whole leg her hip and she bends this knee okay so the power is generated from the whole body again like that okay so if she does it a little faster a little harder good all right if she do, were to do a palm same thing if she does a rear palm she's going to twist nice and slow she's going to twist and push her hip and then her arm through okay so the power is generated from the floor up again hard hard all right. Using this theory, you don't have to be a large person to generate a great amount of power. It's just all in the way you use your body and the forces of your feet against the ground and the twisting of your body, the mechanics. Very important again, and you're going to see it throughout the, the series, is you only want to focus your strike two to six inches. Whether it's a punch or a kick, you don't want to be so close that you're going to jam your leg, okay, for a kick.